this is Bianca Wolfus, and this is Be In The Know, brought to you by OWI and Tail. And I have another incredible woman in identity, Eva Valenkis. She's the CEO of Identity Theft Resource Center. Eva, welcome. Thank you very much. I'm so pleased to be here. Eva, you are the first time going to OWI. Tell us what you're excited about and what we can wait for and a topic that's so important. You've been helping 10,000 people, so you've kind of been busy every year. We are very excited to be at OWI conference because we've been wanting to go for a couple of years and we've just been deeply entrenched in helping victims and educating consumers about all aspects of their identity, including um, I, the value of the data that they create, data breaches, which is the focus of our discussion, and everything that intertwines and intersects with identity. So my question to you is, if I, if I see a thing saying a data has been breached about an airline, a retailer, is that what I can look for and understand in your session? Is, are you going to give people a little bit of an insight into this during OWI? Data breaches still seem to be such a mystery for yeah. consumers. People don't know what they, it is. <laughs> they know something has happened. They, they know that they, there is some risk to them. They know that their data or their identity credentials have been compromised, but they will still continuously ask us, but what does this mean to me? And we wanted to take the mystery out of this process, out of this experience for consumers and victims. And so we partnered with Futurion, a great organization that helped to look at our data breach data and provide um, an algorithm-based response to the what does it mean to me question. And now consumers absolutely for free can look up any data breach that they've experienced and get a risk score that tells them what level of risk they are now under due to those compromised credentials or that compromised data. They will get a list of the top three harms that can come out of that particular breach. And then they will also get a detailed action plan, which will tell them these are the really important key steps that you can take to reduce that risk surface now that you know your data is out there. Well, that's amazing. And all of this is for free. So this is an incredible opportunity to sort of take some of the manual labor that goes into your resource center and say to somebody, if you've seen a data breach, you have US credentials, it doesn't matter if I'm in Brazil, Spain, or China, I can go into this and see what level have I been hurt and like sort of what do I do in basic plain terms. That is, that's it in a nutshell. Oh what God. is the level of risk that I'm now exposed to and what can I do about it? And during the yeah. session, you're going to give people a little sneak peek on how this works. We are going to present the why behind the need for this and encourage people to understand how important it is that they value their identity credentials. And then we are going to do a demo and show people how to use this tool. We are so excited to be launching this publicly at OWI. Oh my God, I cannot wait. I will be in the front row watching and tweeting and, and telling everybody that here, you actually, this is a to me, a dignity right. Your identity is yours and here's how you take a, like, take a hold of it. And what is the literacy around it? Tell me a little bit about, you've had an incredible career from going from finding the bad guys in white collar to actually mm -hmm. giving back to people that you couldn't help back then other than chasing the bad guys. Now the resource center does, they, you help set out of the 17 million that you told me that you have victims of fraud or victims of identity fraud every year, you help 10,000 and you're a non-for-profit. Like what is the passion and amazingness on like, and what is the level of literacy that you see in today's world? Like I find most people don't even know what to do, where to start, what their rights are. Tell me a little bit about that story. Well, when it comes to identity, it's such a complex and nuanced issue that we see when we talk to people, their, their knowledge and understanding of it, it's, it's wildly inconsistent. And different people, there, there isn't one demographic that's more vulnerable or less educated. It's that they have different vulnerabilities and different levels of education really based on how they interact in the outside world how they interact with it. This is both digital world and the physical world that you're helping people understand sort of how their identity credential or their identity attribute is 
vulnerable? Is that, is that part of the lack of understanding? Cause that's where I think that a lot of the confusion comes into place. Like if somebody stole my password, it's kind of obvious in a way, but if somebody stole something that maybe has a, a ripple effect, I often find people with a struggle to understand that. Is that what yes. you're trying to educate in, in the resource center or help? It's all of the pieces of one's identity and, and people understanding the value that the, their identity credentials and the data that they create actually has. And, and that's where we're really trying to start because it's such a nebulous thing. You, you know, you think about your physical body, your physical safety, your actual dollars that you have in the bank, and, and it's easier to wrap your brain around, oh, I have to safeguard those, those things. But when you think of your identity, and we tell people to think of it as a puzzle, where there are key pieces of that puzzle that make up your identity, things like the static data, your, your social security number, your date of birth, your driver's license and passport number, and then there are, other pieces like your biometric data, your, you know, your fingerprints, your, your voice print, your, uh, and your photographs. <laughs> right, right. And, and, but the other piece that I think people really struggle with is your behavior. Your behavior is pushing the edges of that puzzle out so that when thieves get a hold of all of those credentials, they can really do a much better job of pretending to be you because they can mimic your behavior as well as have those identity credentials. That's a really complicated problem to explain to people. So we try to take their experiences and each one of them, when they reach out to us and say, I just got this scam call uh, from someone saying that they were with the IRS and they were going to arrest me and I need to go buy iTunes gift cards to pay them. We take that incident and explain to them how that's a scam and then we continue on and it's a real empowerment model. Um, we could do the work for you and just fix the problem or we can teach you how to manage your identity in this, in this world that we live in now because this is an absolute, the, the literacy, identity literacy as you so eloquently put it, it's an absolute necessary skill Oh my God, this is incredible. And you're gonna demo this. And so if you haven't registered yet, make sure you make it to Sunday. Eva will be showing her session and the demo. And then you can probably catch her after and ask her a bazillion questions because she has an amazing background and a lot of stories to tell. Eva, thank you so much for coming on the show. And I look forward to seeing you in Vegas. Thank you. See everybody there. Bye, stay in the know.